Hello, it's Carly Howard with Raptor H Realty. And I'm here this week with our Mansfield Spotlight of the Week. I'm here with Amy Yarbrough. She is a health insurance broker. So I'm gonna ask her a few questions today. So Amy, kind of explain to us your job and how long you've been in the business. Well, I'll start with, um, I've been in the business for a little over five years. And um, what I do is I help people and uh, find health insurance policies or even health share plans uh, that fit their needs and budget. Um, I'm, a, I'm licensed in several over 25 states and appointed with multiple carriers. So that allows people, to, I'm kind of a shopper, you know, for, for clients with health insurance. Okay, awesome. And um, can you explain, that we, I'm sure you get this question a lot, what's the difference between a broker and an agent? Yeah, that is very, very important for people to know. Um, an agent, I'm kind of both, I wear both hats. Um, an agent is going to be licensed to sell health insurance in a state, but typically they work for just one company. So they're only gonna represent that company's plans, whatever it may be. Um, you know, I could call out names or whatever, but if you, you know, let's just say United Healthcare as a, an example. An agent is only going to be able to talk to you about United Healthcare plans, nothing else. A broker like myself is a I'm appointed, licensed in the state, and appointed with multiple carriers, which means that I'm able to work with all the major, you know, major carriers that are offered, perhaps in the state, as well as other options like short-term plans and health share plans, um, life insurance. It's a lot more broad. So um, you're not, when you talk to me, I'm listening to your needs and what you're wanting out of a plan. And I'm able to match that better than just, you know, let's, let's, for, I, I like to give the example of if you're talking, it's a, here, here's a good example, captive and non-captive. So a captive agent works for, let's think, um, most people are, are, are used to auto and home insurance. So if you talk to an all state agent or a state farm agent, they're only able to offer you the plans that all state or state farm offers, not anybody else like Geico or um, Liberty Mutual, you know, but, you know, they can't, they, a broker would be able to do that for you. Okay, awesome. And you have plans um, for all sorts of budgets. Yep, all um, sorts of budgets and needs, catastrophic, um, you know, with, uh, what, what am I trying to say? Um, doctor visit co-pays, you know, that sort of thing. Um, it all really boils down to what your, how you use the plan for your health needs, what you're wanting out of it. And then I try to match that, including your budget. You know, we try to stay within the budget that you're looking at. And sometimes people don't realize it's sort of like anything you buy. <laughs> <laughs> you may want all the bells and whistles until you realize the price tag, you know, and then you go, okay, you know, and we, we talk about that, you know, my, 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 what's important to me, I have an education background. Um, I used to be a teacher back in another lifetime. I have a master's degree in education. Um, so, I, you know, that's first and foremost is educating and helping. So I want my clients to be, uh, to understand, you know, what their options are, why they may be limited, um, and then why we choose what we choose together. It's not me telling, you know, telling you what you got to do, but I'm advising you and saying, here's what the options are. This is what fits your needs the best. This is the route I would go, but you would understand why. Okay, perfect. So has your business changed any with COVID right now um, and what we're seeing? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Um, I think, um, you know, people are, have lost their jobs and um, sometimes they don't know that there are options other than COBRA if they've had insurance uh, through their employer. And so they think, oh, it's COBRA or nothing. And, um, I've had, you know, that's just part of that education hat that I wear. I was trying to get that out there to say, hey, you know, COBRA may be your best option, but there are other options out there. Um, there's been a little bit of a decline I had at the beginning, I would say March and early April when it really hit, I kind of had a rash 
of people um, either who were delaying in, in enrolling in plans, suddenly enroll, and then it um, stagnated a little. But now that the economy is beginning to open up, I'm beginning to see more people call okay. and um, look for it. So um, um, I think a big question um, with COVID, have I had any clients with COVID? Not so far. <laughs> Um, and yeah. thankfully, you know, in a way, um, what I have seen, it, unfortunately, is um, clients who need non-urgent care mm -hmm. um, and procedures not be able to do those. But I think that's changing. So there was a frustrating month, six weeks there that I was worried for my clients that they here they have a health insurance plan and they need a test run of some kind, a sonogram or an MRI or a procedure of some kind, um, and then they weren't able to get it. So that's that was very disconcerting, but that's starting to change. Okay. Are there any do's and don'ts that people should be looking for when they're searching for health insurance? The biggest thing to me is never feel pressured into buying a plan. That is one mistake that people will make. And a lot of times I'll hear people call me and they say, I really appreciate that you didn't pressure me. And I, I said, you should never feel pressured. This is a big decision. And you need to have all the information. I provide it to you. I want you to look at it. I want you to ask me questions and we make a decision together. I never want somebody to feel like you got to do this now. You know, um, I want them to feel good about their decision um, and you know unfortunately I hate to use the word sales even though that's I am in sales mm -hmm. but in any time you're in a sales situation if the salesperson is pressuring you they're doing it for the wrong reasons so a big thing to think about anytime you're talking not just to me but anything is if that salesperson is really listening to you so you would want them to listen you want to see that they're applying um, your concerns and desires and needs to the product that you ultimately have. Or if they're not able to, explain to you why they're not able to. Um, and that way you know that they're looking out for your best interest. Otherwise, they're just trying to make a buck. And you know that's, that's just not a good fit, no matter which industry you're in. <laughs> All right, well, if, do you have anything else um, that I didn't cover that you think is really important to the people out there? Um, I think um, knowing, knowing, your, knowing that you do have options. Um, for example, if you've been on an employer plan, there's a lot of times people don't realize that family members can be taken off of the employer plan and go on their own. So for example, if the wife is working and she does, she has, uh, coverage for the family. Um, the law is that the employer must pay at least 50% toward the premium cost of her plan. Um, but she may be, she may have to pay the full cost of the rest of the family. So shopping, you know, and having the husband and kiddos on their own plan is an option. Um, there's a lot of ways, you know, to slice and dice all this to make it affordable and good, you know, Good coverage for the family um, and a lot of times people also will limit they'll think about health insurance but they don't think about other options like dental or vision um, there's teledoc um, there's i work with life insurance and supplemental plans and all of these can help with your overall health insurance cost and so i i people don't even realize that oh and one big thing my services are free <laughs> And never cost, cost you anything. <laughs> All right, perfect. And um, thank you so much, Amy, for taking the time today. Yes, and thank you, Carly. I will make sure that everybody has your contact information. So if you'll have any more questions, please reach out to Amy or reach out to me. And um, we will talk to you soon. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it.